This trend is that they're putting mental health before, you know, fans and spectators and things like that. Is that the right thing to do? We feel like we're entitled to getting every ounce of perfection and performance out of our athletes. The hardest part was other people's grief. Uh, my mom and dad, it, it, my family, it was like somebody died. Okay, my coaches understood winning and losing, and we were heartbroken for a couple of days. But the people that don't understand the sport of track and field, the people that don't understand sports, it's like, oh my gosh, what are you gonna do now? So you don't want track to consume you, and you don't want that to be your total identity because, you know, when you fail, you fail. I'll have young men and young women come into my office, usually I would say about 15 to 20 a year, and they'll come in and say, I'm depressed. I've certainly navigated many chapters and seasons of life of going through my own struggles mentally. And what I know now is that it's okay to have those struggles. It's okay to not be okay. And I would tell athletes to reach out. I am here to, you know, facilitate uh, goals, dreams, ambitions, and help people grow as individuals. So what does a more holistic approach mean? Is approaching an individual as a whole person and not just an athlete. Understanding that athletes are more than muscles, tendons, and tissues.